Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. So I received an email from one of the owners of Dimensional Drinks. They specialize in these 3D cup sleeves. They are super lightweight, like novelty type uh, shapes. They've got tons of different shapes, different themes, things like that on their website. I'm a plant lady through and through. <laughs> and so when they reached out to me asking if I would like to try this, I saw this flower pot and said immediately yes. So here we are. So I'm starting out with a spray painted tumbler and I spray painted the sleeve as well. And I mixed about five mLs of epoxy and used probably about one milliliter of epoxy. I covered the tumbler with that and then I pushed it into the sleeve and you're gonna let it sit and cure just like you normally would if you were applying glitter. I would recommend not putting it on a honeycomb uh, silicone mat like I did <laughs> because I ended up with little honeycomb indentations in the bottom of it. Luckily, I realized it immediately and I put it on just a flat silicone mat. So after that was done curing, I put it on my turner and I decided to mix some Chantilly on a cream base, shocker, right? <laughs> Into my epoxy. So I use about a one to four ratio of epoxy to glitter. I would not recommend doing this if it is not a super or ultra fine glitter because it will end up pretty chunky and it won't really lay flat. So we're gonna apply that glitter onto this flower pot. And after I've got that smoothed out, I'm gonna take a gloved hand and I'm going to pull the epoxy down. I don't want it to pull up in that rim there that you see. Um, because it will cause cloudiness. It's going to probably cure a little bit wobbly. And so we're just gonna avoid that. I'm gonna put that on the flower pot and then hit it with my torch and let it cure. Okay, I lied. Before I let this cure, I am going to sprinkle a little bit of Venetian into the wet epoxy after I have torched. You want to make sure you're doing this after you've torched it. If you're doing it before you torch it, you're going to scorch this raw glitter that is not mixed into the epoxy. It's going to burn and curl up and it is just not a good time. So after I had taken this cup off of the turner, I realized that the gap between this 3D sleeve and the tumbler, both the top and the bottom just had a tiny little sliver of an opening, um, kind of where the epoxy and glitter mixture had sunk into the gap between the sleeve and the cup. And so I took my UV resin and I basically made the exact same mixture that I had used to coat the cup with glitter, but with UV resin, I knew if I had used regular resin, it probably would just end up sinking right back into the cup while it was curing. And so I opted to use UV resin as opposed to regular setting resin. Uh, note to self, if you're using UV resin and you have your blinds open and it's a nice, bright, sunny day, don't move your medicine cup into the sunlight because your epoxy and glitter mixture will cure right in your medicine cup. So uh, take it from me. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Anyways, so I did the same thing to the top portion. There was just a little bit of gapping there and that resolved that issue once I filled that in. And then I'm going to move on to my glitter booty. So this is totally optional. This was a lot of extra work, but I do love the end result. So I mixed about 12 mLs of UV resin 
into the Plant Lady glitter that was in my collab box from Peachy Olive Glitters. These a little bit more resin on this one because it is a chunkier glitter. I'm gonna mix that up and put it in the center of that tumbler base. And then I went in with Denmark, that one. I used about 10 mLs, that was way too much. I did not need to use that much because it's a finer glitter. And then I put that into the outer rim of this glitter booty. Just a side note, you do wanna make sure that you're torching the base before you're curing it with your UV light or with your sun. Mixing that epoxy and glitter together causes a lot of friction and a lot of air bubbles. And this specific epoxy is prone to air bubbles, so your glitter is going to look foggy uh, if you're not torching it. Once my glitter mixtures were completely cured, I went over it with two thin coats of just clear UV resin and I wanted to make it a little bit more flush with the base of the cup and then we'll move into our next step. Just a forewarning, this is totally extra. You guys don't have to be this extra. Um, so I decided that I wanted to kind of color coordinate with Denmark that I'd used on the glitter booty of this cup. And I didn't have a glittery vinyl that matched. And so I decided to make my own glittery vinyl. So what I did was just lightly sand this orange Oracle 651 vinyl that I had, um, just enough to take the sheen off of it. And this was not my idea. I can't take credit for this. I saw Jessica Flynn do this, I don't know how long ago, but uh, this idea came to mind. And so I just sanded that off lightly, cleaned it with a paper towel and rubbing alcohol, and then I'm going to apply a thin coat of tacket to this tumbler, making sure there are no streaks in this, ep not epoxy, glue, uh, before I dry it. And once it's pretty much streak free, I'm gonna hit that with my heat gun until the glue is completely clear. You can't really tell because it's reflecting off of my light, but it is clear here. And then I'm going to put Denmark from Peachy Olive Glitters over top of this vinyl. This will not work with a chunky, medium chunky, anything more than like a super fine glitter. It's not gonna work the best. It's gonna get caught up in your vinyl cutting machine and it's just gonna be a hot mess. So anyways, I put some of that glitter on and then I went over it a second time, repeated the same process. I dried this and then I went over it with Tacket again and a second coat of glitter just to make sure that you weren't able to see that orange vinyl underneath. And then I went over this with two coats of polycrylic. I just let it air dry till it was dry to the touch because I didn't want to cause any more bubbles to the vinyl than had already incurred. And so once that was completely air dried, I put it in my Cricut, I stuck it right to my mat and I put it on the glitter heat transfer vinyl setting and it weeded like butter. So <laughs> it worked really great. I would recommend it if you wanna do 
anything extra if you want to match glitter on your cup. This was a great idea. All right, so I found this boho abstract file on Creative Fabrica and I found the elements that I wanted out of this pack. There are like a hundred different elements. I don't even know. It's astronomical. Uh, so I found all of the elements that I wanted on this cup and I figured out which colors I wanted and I cut them out in a sage green, in textured gold, and then in um, the glitter vinyl that we had just made. And I cut each color out in both two and three inches. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with these. I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of placed them organically as I went along where I saw them fitting well on the cup, if you will. And so the two and three inches worked perfectly. Anything bigger than that, it would have just taken over the cup. And so I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna place these wherever they look good. I will tell you in hindsight, I probably would have used transfer tape on these outlines like this gold um, monster leaf that I'm putting on here because it did lose its shape a little bit. I had to baby it. I just cropped that out of the video so you guys didn't have to watch a minute of me doing that. Um, but other than that, I just laid everything by hand. So I'm gonna lay these down and trim the edges. And then I'll go in with a paint marker and add some extra detail once I've got all of the vinyl elements put on.
All right, so now that I've got all of my elements where I want them, I'm just going in with this metallic paint pen. I just got this from Michael's. They're like three or four dollars. They're not very expensive. Um, and I'm just adding three little dots in like a triangle kind of cluster, if that makes sense. And then just a couple of the shapes, I'm going to put a little dotted outline just to add a little bit of dimension to this cup. So after all of the detail work is complete, I put this on the turner and I put two coats of polycrylic on this. There was a lot of vinyl work going on here and I didn't want it to lift. So I put an extra coat of polycrylic on there just to ensure that it was going to stick to the cup. And then I went in with two final coats of Flynn Sisters Epoxy and I have a very exciting announcement. A couple of weeks ago, Jessica reached out and asked if I would like to be an affiliate for her epoxy. And of course I said yes, because it is the best epoxy that I have ever laid my hands on. So I will have a discount code in the description for you guys now. Uh, and then after the two final coats were cured, this cup was done. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments. This was totally out of my element, so I'm excited that it turned out the way that it did. I'm still deciding if I want to put something along the top of this uh, flower pot. I wanted to put maybe like a coffee quote, um, but I'm not for sure yet. So I'm just leaving it now till I have a brain genius idea and that's all. So don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell if you want to get notified of every Saturday's tutorial. I've linked all of the products and discount codes in the description for you and I will see you guys next weekend.